I got a really simple install this time, guys. We're gonna be installing a rear auxiliary power point in the back of the 2024 Transit. Mine did not come with one from the factory and I just got back from the Ford store with the parts I need, so let's get it going. So these are the two items you're gonna need for this installation. You're gonna need the wire harness. This guy was really hard to find actually. None of the diagrams really show it very clearly, but there's the uh, part number for you. You're gonna need the socket assembly. I can't really see it, but I'll take it out. Uh, this one was relatively easy, so that's all you need. We're gonna be plugging it into a um, into a harness in this cavity, and you can already see that there's a hole for it right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that gray plug or outlet back there is what we're gonna be plugging into. There's the harness out of the bag and there's the socket. make your lives easier just go ahead and slide this uh, connector out of the way you're gonna need to pull on this tab here and this thing just slides up all right so we got the harness or the wiring hooked in and you can see it down there take note of the of the uh, the lever there is facing the front of the van, so that's the way you want to connect to the connector. Kind of hard to do it when you can't see back there. But all that's left to do is install this guy. All right, so the one thing that you do need to be mindful of is that this grommet will need to go in first before you install this guy, or else it won't slide in very uh, easily. All right, there she is. All ready to go. All right, we're gonna test this out by plugging in the Max Air Fan outlet that I created from a while back. Let's see if this works. All right, we got a light. Here we go. It works, guys. So that's not why I did this. The reason why I installed this AC or, or, or uh, outlet back here is because I'm gonna have my AC 200 somewhere right along this side of the van. And the AC 200 can be charged using a car charger. So this is kind of like my DC to DC alternate form of charging when I don't have any sun or I'll be able to wire up uh, a type of connector to the AC200 where I can charge it using both my 300 watts of solar plus this uh, car charger which is rated at 20 amps at 12 volts so I'll be getting essentially another uh, 240 watts of charging capacity when the vehicle is on while I'm driving. So that's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, it's like another solar panel up there. So cool guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys learned something. Hit that like and subscribe button and hit the comments section if you uh, have any questions. Thanks again.